I'm Dwayne Ross of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. For Wednesday, November 1st, our scripture is from the 7th chapter of Revelation, verses 9 through 17. All Saints Day also. After this I looked and there was a great multitude that no one could count from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, robed in white with palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice saying, Salvation belongs to our God who is seated on the throne and to the, to the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne, around the elders and the four living creatures, and they fell on their faces before the throne and worshiped God, singing, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and, gl and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me, saying, Who are these, robed in white, and where have they come from? I said to him, Sir, you are the one that knows. Then he said to me, These are they who have come out of the great ordeal. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason they are before the throne of God and worship him day and night within his temple. And the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them. They will hunger no more and thirst no more. The sun will not strike them. Not, nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. He will guide them to the springs of the water of life, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. All Saints Day. God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Verse 17. Today is All Saints Day. A tender day in the life of God's people. It is set aside as a festival day when we commemorate the saints who have gone before us, completing their baptismal journey in Christ. On this day we speak truth. No matter how much time has passed, death still stings. Yet we remember our decisive dear ones in tandem with God's eternal promise. Revelation gives us a glimpse of the communion of saints before the throne of God, united in worship and divine love. The heavenly song of blessing and glory resounds in God's presence and when we listen, reverberates among us on earth. Through our remembrance, heaven's eternal song finds a way into our mourning hearts with the hope of Christ's resurrection, truth. We join in singing with the saints and all the multitude, trusting that we too are held in the never-end, never-failing love of God. For the saints compel us to journey onward, knowing that we too are saints in Christ. Our prayer. God of resurrection, you hold all our tears as the one who turns our mourning into dancing. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.